All right. Can you hear me? Can anybody hear me? All right. Let's see. Let's see. Can anyone hear me? Hey, hey, some guy on YouTube, can you hear me now? Am I there? Or not really? Yes! Good, you can hear me. Beautiful. Awesome. I don't know who you are. Are you from the Discord? I'm I'm betting you are. All right. Ah, my favorite fan. All right. So taking the taking the cooler off is very difficult. Um you need to be very careful um to remove it very gently. So you don't break anything. <laughs> I'm going to wait. Oh, we have another person. I'm going to wait until we have like maybe like five people. And then we'll start. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Sir Lord Panzer. All right. We can, we can go through our sponsors um, for this video. Our sponsors today are um, Life Brand Alcohol. It'll get you lit. Um, and uh, Swiss Army Tweezers, the best tweezers in the business. It's a little uh, Verge joke for you uncultured swine out there. We only have one person. Still just you, eh, ASMR? I'm going to put you as a sponsor. Wait until there is five plus people. And start. It's like, yeah, ASMR, you're like, uh tier one fan now um your subscription has gone through uh, and your payment as well uh -huh. just gonna oh oh captain d's here oh man we're going to have the whole crew here. Lord Panzer was here, but he uh, panzered off. Oh, nice. Well, if you send your payment now, you actually get this special. Um, it's called uh, Katy Perrier um, bath water. It's really good. Let me tell you. It's the, it's the best bath water you'll ever have. In fact, I have it in my drink right now. Uh, this, of course, is top shelf gin with uh, some Katy Perrier bath water, aka Perrier lime water that's just carbonated, and a slice of fresh lime, which Coco was adamant you have to have it with top shelf gin. It helps, but 
I don't know if I'd go out to the store just for that. Just saying. It's hot and cold, yeah. It's yes and no. It's kind of undecided on it now, really, to be honest. <laughs> Coco's going to be an hour. Dang. We have three. All right. We'll see. We've got two more, and then we start. That's all we need. We just need two more, and then we start. I feel like one of those like uh, multi-level marketing people where it's like, you just share this with two of your friends, and then you get the rewards. That's all it takes. Dang it. <laughs> pizza, get your butt. Yeah, pizza. Oh, you're here, pizza. Good. Where's the rest of them? There's only two. Hey, quick questions, guys. Is is it is the audio and video good? Is it? Oh, ASMR's name has changed. Good. That helps. That helps clarify it, so I know who it is. Um, is it clear? All right, we're we're at four, so we're just about ready to start. It's weird because now it says like there's two people. Okay, audio's good. Um, it's focused and all that. Nice uh, 60 frames per second. The camera's a little crooked, so I'm actually going to try and align my keyboard so I can just use that as my reference point so you're not, like, looking at a crooked install the entire time, which would be, like, super annoying. And we're going to see. I don't, I don't imagine it taking too long, but, you know, it feels like it's more... Oh, shoot, 55 frames? That's it. I'm canceling the whole thing. I get I get All right. I think we're just about there. So we will. So we can't full screen with the chat on. Oh, man. Is that a setting on my end or is that just sort of you guys or YouTube? Let me reprogram YouTube for a second. Just show you the the depth and the breadth of my inability to understand anything code wise. So, I think we're gonna start. It's ten oh seven. It's the perfect time to start. So first, you want to make sure you have the proper tools. So that's important to have. Um, you need to have your spatula for spreading your thermal paste. These two biddies right here. <laughs> I got these from like. Uh, a kit that my daughter got with like molding clay or something but this stuff legit these two are legit like the best tools ever i got a half used pack of gillet extreme one and a half millimeter pads um and in case we run out i got these rando ones from uh uh i got these on amazon for like 20 bucks for 120 mil by 120 mil sheet that's 105 mil or 1.5 mil thick. They're roughly the same uh, as per the uh, the label on the back. They're roughly the same as the Gillette Extremes, but uh, you know you can always trust the label, right? Um, but yeah, so these are the thermal pads we'll be using. I'm going to be using this on the uh, memory, and if I run out, I'm going to use this on the other stuff. Um, but these are going to be for mainly memory and the um, those little tiny chips. I forget what they're called. I'm a, I'm a tech person. That's right. We've got uh, also this little tool kit right here. Yeah, I almost forgot this guy. Exactly. Who needs I fix it when you have children's toys? But this little this little beast here is a, is really handy to have as well. So we'll move some of these things over. Um, we have our block here with our items inside. Um, I'm going to actually put this off to the side until we have the cooler off of the, uh, off of the, uh, 3090. And here's our 3090 right here. Um, is everything backwards? Like, is that like right here for me, it's showing up really weird. Um, does that like, it looks like Cyrillic to me in the, in the preview here. 
but that looks normal. Is that the, the text is normal for you guys? All right. Oh man, I really wish I would have like put like a like a little like Zotac piece of garbage card in here and just like act very confused when I open it up and there's like a Zotac. Does it say 06 060E? Oh gosh. Ah, uh, forget it then. How Ah, everything will be reversed. Don't read. For anyone who's dyslexic. Oh, no, it looks good. All right, perfect. <laughs> Dang it, pizza. You guys are freaking me out. So we also have in the, this little box here, there's the, the other card or the other uh, connector, which I already have the one from my other card. Humble brag. Um, so just put that, uh, I'll just chuck that over there. Ain't no thing. Pull these guys over here and we clear this out. Okay, 3090, time to get you open. Um, primary tool, number one thing. Oh, dude, I almost forgot. There's another item we're gonna need here. That is tape. Tape is probably, in my opinion, the best way to get these little dealies out of here. As long as you get, there you go. So it came out. This guy came out, this guy came out, and this guy, come on, of course. Oh. Just when it started working really good, right? Eh? Just getting in the flow of it. There we go. Good stuff. I thought I might have to get the drill. Don't want to do that again. Um, this guy here just sort of tucks in, in here, and you can just pry up from there. And I found that the best way when you're putting it back in, if you're putting it back in, you just sort of go fully reversed and and push it in like that. Sometimes these can be a little bit uh, difficult when you're trying to reinstall it. I did that with uh, the other one I have with the, uh, the when I was just repadding underneath the back plate. Let's see, we've got some of these guys here. I think it's a T4. If memory serves correctly, and it does. Thank you, Gamers Nexus, for all that you tell me and to teach me. So, you know, if, you, if you're following this as an instructional, make sure you turn it counterclockwise um, in case you've never used a screw before. Uh, you know, just want to make sure. Oh, you didn't know they had that connector ASMR? Yeah, it's it's super handy that they have it. The only problem is it's like it's super short. So it, it looks really awkward in your uh, case. Yeah. Yeah, I know it was a gamers nexus. They always like to like put these like screws off like in a special arrangement, you know, so you know exactly where. Usually when I'm taking screws out, I just look and see if they're the same length. And if they're all the same length, then you can just chuck them all in the same pile. Um all right, now we're on to the uh, Phillips guys over here. These two are Phillips, or the four are Phillips. The inner ones are different than the outer, just uh, the size of the screw head as well. Um, as, let's see. Um, yeah, the length, no, length is the same. Size of the screw head is a little bit different. Um, or no, no, it's not. It was an optical illusion. Oh man, I was so tricked. Maybe we move it up a little bit better then. Get it in view for you guys. Um, you don't really, well, when you're doing a block, you don't really have to worry. So actually, leave that on there, you know. And then uh, we pry this off. There we go. Uh, is this some catching? I'll just take this out. Sometimes I miss the catches. Oh yeah, look at those beautiful thermal pads made of canvas and glue. Um, let's see this guy here. Let's see where that guy goes. I just want to remove this, but I want to make sure I put it in the right spot. 
just so when I want, if I ever want to put it back together, I just want to be able to just slap this back on there. Um, I think this guy is, should be over here. So, but yeah, this is where these guys are super handy. Um, they peel these guys off real nice. Um, I believe this guy looks like. Also, too, I like I. There's different instructions on the Bixky block. Uh, <laughs> you notice the Sennheiser set, yeah. Um, but the Bixky block doesn't have instructions for all of these. And usually, what I'll do is um, I just leave these because I have literally no idea what any of these components are, uh, except for like these. Those are the VRAM, and and that's it. Uh, as far as like what this chip is and that chip is and that I, I have no idea. So I'm like, if it's cooled with the stock cooler, we probably should try and cool it with the, the water block as well. Um, although honestly, these guys here are the critical ones along with, um, I think, uh, Moffsets. That's the name of those little chips. Moffsets. Yeah. See, so just set that aside. Um, these are a little bit yuck, but. We just used a little bit of heat clean right out. Um, I'm not like usually I'm not super picky with cleaning the uh, the the chips and all that too much. It's just like once you put the pad on, it's not looking to have you know cover microscopic areas on these so much as you're just looking to smush it on there. So junk. I just wipe, you know, try not to wipe too hard and rip little components off, you know. It's never a good sign. You have the same headset? Oh, I don't know. This one's kind of an older headset. ASMR. I don't know. We'll see. It's the... I'd have to take it off and read it because I don't even know it that well. Yeah. But yeah, these guys here, I'll clean them, but the rest of it, it's like, eh. Whatever. It'll get smushed. But usually the, the thing that's critical to me is the, the, the highest heat things, you know, like the, the memory modules. Let's see here. I'll just... Man, yeah, that could have been bad. Could have blown these guys all over. <laughs> I'll just take them and put them in the, uh, in the back plate here. Just to keep them off to the side. Right, move that over there. Now we go to the next step. This is the tricky part for me because I've never done it before is these little cable dealies. I watched a few videos on it. Um, I think, was it this guy here? These flip up. Come on, come on. Um, 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 um. They do, I'm pretty sure they do. It looks so easy when Steve on Gamer's Nexus did. Oh, that's it. It's this little bitty on the back that flips up, I think. Got it? There we go. There's one. They flip up. Oh, it flips up that way. So dumb. Yeah, they flip up towards the, the item, which is kind of weird. I would have thought I'd have to flip it back. But yeah, there we go. Look at that. Let me just use this here. Just pull, pull. There we go. This guy here. This is the trickster that they always were talking about there on uh, Gamers Night. So you pull it that way, and then you just sort of lift it out. So let's see if we can do it without breaking the the card permanently. I'd rather not. Let's see. Yeah, that's all the way back. And this is the this is the the tricky one. Um, where is? I think I will try using. Uh, where did it go? I threw my tweezer away. Here we go. My tweezer. 
as per the Verge. Second, so just insert that. Let's go in there and see if I can add it. Does this need to go back even further? No, I don't think so. It goes in. I am having a little bit of. It's like Coco will get back in the stream by the time I'm, or before I'm done this. This part's going to be, this guy's going to take me only to. Come on. Come on. Yay, it's out and I didn't break anything. Oh my goodness, success. That's it. We're stopping the stream here. It's a success. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I know the LED one, Lord Panzer's like the worst. But I think we, I think we did it without breaking anything. So awesome. All right, let's see. Is this guy also a T4? Definitely not. That guy, let's see. Uh, I'm going to try T6. That fits perfect. All right. Ding. Ding. I've seen people put these back on, but I am not thinking that would be fun in any stretch of the imagination. So, and there we go. It's actually kind of interesting that you're. Um, I guess the back plate does have a few screws that go through and attach. All right, just take that and try not to smush that guy in between the block. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. Oh, these guys, this guy here still. Yeah, that guy there still. Oh man, another size. Oh yeah, I remember. You think I'd be more uh, researched on this? So is that T eight? It is T eight. All right, T eight. And then there's a few on the side here. Hmm. Do do do. Oh, out of focus. Focus. Focus camera, focus! Oh, you piece of junk. It's not a piece of junk, it's a really nice camera. I just don't know how to use it. That's that's the real reason I'm calling it a piece of junk. Hope this piece of it just doesn't fall right out, then, you know. I'm doing it like this so you can see it, but it's blurred, so there's no real point. It's just an un- Unjustified risk. That's the right word. All right, those guys are really short. Okay, those guys there. All right, we lay it back down. Oh, that's already loose. Interesting. Ah, there's three more on the other side. Ah, you know what? We'll just leave it here. I'm not going to risk this thing coming and falling. I know it would make an excellent YouTube blooper. All right, and I know you guys would love to see it, but I would probably cry, and my cry just it doesn't it doesn't sound very nice. Oh, it just opened up. All right, Phew. that was a little bit of a surprise. Oh, here we go. That thankfully, I don't think anything got anything got scratched. Oof. Oh yeah, this comes off right. Right there, nice and easy. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Look how tiny it is. It's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. So cute and tiny. You're so tiny. Oh, you're so tiny. All right, we're going to take this guy here off. Right, so these here are, again, like I said, these tools are amazing. Let me just slip this up. And where did that go? That guy was on here. 
Yeah, it's right above the screen. Right there. I just like to leave it all in place just so there's no questions later on. Where did this come from? Yeah, it, this literally looks like like the old um the old sticky uh the old sticky tack. I don't know if anybody's familiar with it. Um but you know that old white sticky tack that you would like use to like stick your pictures on the walls at school? Am I really aging myself here? But that's what this stuff reminds me of. It's actually kind of interesting how they have these like blocks coming up from the uh, the vapor chamber here and like the, the, the cold plate. It's kind of neat. And actually one of the interesting things, uh, one of the um, big, um, what's the word? Uh, one of the big difficulties with vapor chambers is getting flatness. And actually you can see here that what they've done is they've machined the section of it to get it flat, which is a nice way of overcoming that, that, um, that issue. So and it's such a huge cooler, man. I love it. It's going to lay next to it tonight. Sorry, wife. Um, let's see. I should probably put this all in the box somewhere. Oh, yeah, probably. All right, let's put this in the box. So it's not falling all over. Um, yeah, there's this thing that I failed to close earlier. Um, and I will probably fail to close it now. No, I'll leave it. Then put it here. And we'll put this guy in the books here. Um, I'll probably put some guys in too. Mm -hmm. oh. It just sort of slides in and loose in this plate. That in there. Um, this guy can go in there. So we'll uh, maybe package this up later on um, after the stream is done. Fourteen hours from now. All right. We'll move this guy out of the way with all the little bits on it, just so it doesn't destroy the world. And we will we'll take these guys here, put them back here. All right, look how tiny this thing is. That is so little. Goodness. I wish I had a banana to show you how, how little it was so you could get an idea of the scale. Um, it's just gonna kick. These things are so big. Get some alcohol here. All right, first, some for me. Blue instead. What are you talking about, Lord Cancer? What needs to be blue? This is what happens when I don't pay attention to the chat. Let's see. Gosh, what kind of paste did you use in Already like super dried, and it's like this is like a brand new one. I barely ran this one at all. I ran this uh, just a little bit for just to test it. Friend sent me this from the states, taking advantage of those sweet Best Buy drops. Man, the sticky tack. Oh yeah. Oh, blue is what they replaced that with. Yeah, just this guy right here is is the is the processing unit, and it's pretty uh, pretty crazy that you get like all of this from that. But actually, a large 
portion of the power that these guys use, though, is in the memory, especially for the filthy. So another tool that you need, um, and I haven't mentioned it, I guess I have it actually sitting over here on my on my uh, power supply, warming, is thermal paste. I like to keep that warm while I'm doing this because warm thermal paste is much nicer to spread and cold. And yeah, if you've got a running computer, it's uh, you know, set that on top of the power supply and that will keep it warm for you. And that's a little little hack. A hack there for you. I just really wish they wouldn't use glue to uh, put on their uh, stuff. Yeah, but that's that's dirty now. So I'll switch to the stone. Let's see here. Thermal paste in here, and I don't want to get too much. Uh, I don't want to get too much uh, flux in here. There's like these little, tiny, like chip-looking deals. I don't know if you can see here. Let's see. Let's see if I can uh, focus this. Oh, there we go. We're focusing. Yeah, you see these little little chip things here. Whenever I'm wiping it, I always have a problem with like the uh, the cloth getting lint stuck in those things. So I try not to try not to wipe because sometimes come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Alright, so I try not to wipe in these regions with uh with with the, the cloths just because it'll get like little little fibrous pieces in there and not just any sort of uh, thermal crap that's sort of fall in there. I'll just sort of scrape with this guy. Making sure I don't scrape against those little bitties. And uh, then when it's done, we just uh, take this over here and just uh, leave those for the vacuum cleaner to pick up. And so we just uh, Actually, some of them, like quite a bit of it sticks to this guy. But yeah, I don't like to. Yeah, wipe in there too much. Not unless I have to. Just beauty. Don't cut the lid. Do I? No, I don't intentionally have the rainbow effect going on. You use Q-tips? You know what? Q-tips is fine, too. Like, it doesn't really matter. Um, I just have this, and I don't have Q-tips near me right now. Um, I might yell to my wife to get me Q-tips, maybe. <laughs> she, just gave, she just gave me this look. She's like, eh? She's like, you yell at me, baby. You're going to get something. It's not going to be anything you like. Um... I mean, what? ask you nicely, obviously. I would never yell. Especially not on a live stream to impress strangers who probably wouldn't even be impressed by that. <laughs> yeah, just getting these little yucky bits off. See, here's an interesting thing, right? On uh, EVGA cards, um, these things here, um, again, I don't know what they're called. They're just like they have like that the 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 paste stuff. I got some right here actually. They have like this stuff on them. This K five Pro uh, thermal putty, um, and they have it like on these founders cards. Nothing, nothing. They're just sitting there. Awesome. That is perfect. <laughs> this is the this is I asked for a Q tip. It's got me a tampon. Super absorbent. I'm gonna that'll that'll take all of the uh, thermal paste off of there. <laughs> That's perfect. Oh man. So 
Um, I'm just gonna finish cleaning this guy here. There's little, few little bits here still. Yeah, offsets. I'm not like super, like I said before, I'm not like super concerned with these parts so much, just because you have your. It's not like you have your bare die. Like this is under plastic, right? These the tops of this, this is like a plastic material, so it's not like you know, you have like the the silicon, the bare silicon here. These off here. I, it's good enough. I have Q-tips. I'm not even using them. I'm sorry, honey. I shouldn't have even asked you. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Threw a tampon at me. In, in, in its package. In its package still. Let's see here. Um, I did a crap here. This is just OCD. This is not something. Stand it. Um, I wish I had. That's good enough. Um, this thing just sort of sits there. Ooh, these are spring loaded. These little pins. That's fun. But yeah, isn't that like so tiny though? I love it. Um, Beverly, what you talking about? Vom dot red. I don't even know what that means. All right. So here is our block piece. List. All right. I'm gonna get our block piece out, and then. Um, Stuff here at the back, right? Here's our other piece. Here's some RGB stuff. Here's your new IO piece. It's nice they include this with it because you're going from like a triple wide slot to just this, which is really nice. Nice thin piece to go on there. So you can have a nice take advantage of that nice streamline uh Thing. It comes with like this super high quality tool, um, which maybe is good for like a children's playset. Um, we don't use that here. Um, I have only the highest quality tools. Uh, here's our bridge piece for the front and back plate. Here is the block. I'm gonna put this all in uh, in the view for you guys once I have this sort of out of the way. Let's see. That's that. That's that. Yeah. All right. They do usually send like a blue. Um, this looks like a disaster. Let's clean this up a little here. Um, they do send uh, usually uh, thermal pads with it. This one actually, they they accidentally didn't send thermal pads. So. Um, uh, it's all right though, because I'm not using theirs. They usually send ones that are blue. Now, you may be wondering why I was like, these are awesome tools when I only use this one a little bit. This guy here, check this out. It's actually like the perfect width for memory. So if I want, I can just lay this on the thermal pad and cut a strip and it's going to be the right width for memory modules. So. Excellent. And just purely by chance, right? It's like exactly the right width. This guy is actually the perfect width also for MOF sets. So if I'm doing a strip for MOF sets, I just put this down, cut a strip, and it's the perfect width. So these guys are beauties. Um, let's see. Since we are losing, I'm going to quickly just uh, check what's on. So you know, we all use the old Phillips. So I'm gonna take this here, put this off all back for this here. 
Minutes of six and more than four minutes. Something. All right. Four and keep this small fill up stuff. Need a spatula for the thermal paste, obviously. Um, but yeah, you want. Let's see if we can get a nice little view here. Of the, there we go. So GA one o two dash three hundred dash eight one. Don't ask me what any of that means, but yeah, this one is actually quite new. It came. It uh, it, it was purchased in uh, what late December, I think. But yeah. Here you can see the, uh, oh my gosh, you can't see anything. There we go. Um, if we take a look at the uh, stock block here. Let's take a look at the stock block here. So, sorry, stock cooler here. Let me, huh? Let me move this guy off to the side here for a little bit. Try not to drop anything on it later. Um, but yeah, if you look at the stock cooler here, uh, we have, let's see. Let's see. So we have our piece here. So if we look at this like a mirror image, um, and for some, oh, so that is not how it works. It is not. This goes like this here. So this is this part. This is this part. This is this part. This is this part. And then we have this guy right here. There is a piece for this thermal pad, which is nice. And we have right here. Now, there are two other ones here, which I'm not really sure what that's all about. Um, but we do have those two. And we do have something on the block for those. Uh, that would be this guy here and this guy here. So we're going to have a little bit of extra pad action going on there. Not really sure what those are. But hey, if they see fit to cool them, why not? We'll pop it on the block. Um, and so that's the sort of the front part. I just like to check to see, make sure we're cooling all the same components. Just because you never know, like sometimes these aftermarket blocks, um, they sort of decide what is a priority for them. The only thing that is kind of weird for me is that this block is sort of light in all ways. Um, so except we have a little bit of a depression here and we have a little bit of a depression here from these, which I'll probably be sort of, I'll double check that once we're, once we're at that stage, I'll, I'll do that, give that a double check. But right now we're ready to, we're ready to cut pads and we're ready to uh, slap some, some paste on there and we're ready to fasten this guy on. Um, so anyways, with the kit, maybe we'll look at what we get with the kit. Um, we have some hardware here for fastening the uh, bridge. So this bridge here uh, basically connects the front and the back plate. And it'll move uh, the water from the front plate to the back plate with an extra little O-ring in this package for this. That would be a replacement for one of those guys. There's a couple of plugs here because there are four openings here and you're not gonna, oh gosh, come on, focus guys, focus, focus. Why are you no focus? Sorry, this is annoying me. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I turn autofocus off, then I'm gonna turn it back on, hold on. There we go, nice and focused. We're gonna see the thumb prints and smudges there. So yeah, we've got a couple of plugs here. So these guys are gonna go in here. Um, really what they do is you've got your, um, once we have it on, you'll see. Um, it's a little bit easier to explain there. Uh, we have got our uh, hardware here for mounting the, uh, around the die. So these four pieces here, we've got some little uh, plastic shims for this sort of shield the PCB from the springs and uh, and some springs here to apply pressure, sort of simulate the uh, the spring pressure from this plate. And we have these longer uh, ones here. Uh, these are for 
attaching around the other points on there. And uh, then there's these, which I'm pretty sure these guys here, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually bring up the uh, instructions uh, for it, just, just to make sure, you know, so I've been trying to do a video here and it's like, I screw it up and started on fire or something. And then the laughing stock of the internet. Or at least more so the laughing stock. So, yeah, the instructions we've got our four spring loaded guys going into here and here. And then we've got on the outer end, I believe, on our outer end, we have these two right here attaching through the, the PCB. Which I don't get it. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. We will see. We will see. But now there's a few others that go through. I'll see. We'll play it by ear. You know, let's cut some pads. I got some cut here already from uh, previous install. This, these pads were kind of um, some aspects of it were a little bit wonky. Um, uh, pads themselves was like a little bit of a. Uh, uh, I just didn't like that, so I didn't use that on the other part. But yeah, we will go ahead and we'll cut these. And there, we'll use this as a marking board. I don't want to cut into this anti static mat. Ah, uh, yes, our blade here. Oh man, we've been going for 47 minutes. I can't believe it. This is nuts. Props to all you people who are still with me. Nobody's talking anymore. No nope. people are with me. Nobody knows me. Let's see here. All right. Got some pads. We'll do it like this. Um, no. And now uh, we go ahead and to do it this way. Let's see. So we'll leave it on here and then. There and then. Uh, Maybe scroll over here. There, store it there. And then we go here and just, uh, yeah, cut through. Okay. Now I measure on here, but I like to place it on these just to just to make sure the um yeah. One. There we go. Beautiful. And thankfully, we've got roughly the, the right science here for uh, a single. So there we go. We've got nine, nine modules per strip. And we've got roughly three strips here. So I think we should be all right. Let's see. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, that's going to be a little bit thin. Oof. Okay, well, we'll see here. 
Yeah, we'll do another strip. Decide maybe we'll split this into two. Uh, no, we can't do two mob sizes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How could we do this? So I don't really want to use this stuff for the the uh, memory modules, but probably good if I had to. Let's see, this one feels fine. Let me use this stuff. Here. And then maybe we'll bring one of these other guys and uh, sort of complete the, the cycle here. sort of feeling it out here just scoring it i'm not cutting it there do not cut it on here <laughs> knives on pcb probably not a good mix um i'm just scoring it above just so i can get a piece that's not gonna overlap because this um this component right here is uh actually taller than the memory module so if i had the uh, the, the pad overlapping it most likely actually no it probably wouldn't be an issue that much uh, so if I'm getting high memory temperatures, that's where it's from. <laughs> we'll see. I don't think it will. So that's that. There's these two little guys here. So I'm going to probably cut off uh, some stuff from this one. This one thing is a little bit. Uh, Actually, no, I've got a little these two little guys here. No, that's okay. This guy's right. Well, it's these two guys here that are going to be here and here. No, here and here. Here and here. Let's see. This one. This. Yeah, these two. It's going to be these two. So I'm going to put a little gun here. Actually, no, I'm just going to cut this in half and we'll just let it smush. So as long as it's a little bit, even if it's a little bit bigger outside of it, we'll just put it in there. Let's go in here. You guys are great. There we go. Now it's time for the mop sets. So I don't think there's any action. There's no mop sets on the back, per se. Yeah, there's no mop sets on the back. So I will utilize. So, okay. We've got these guys here. Range of them. That's not good. So we'll just use our little template here. I just realized I'm like cutting these like way off camera. Sorry guys, I'm trying to do some stuff here, but not doing it very well for helping out. All right, here we go. These guys just come out. This. So usually I'll just. Like that square it off and then boom. Boom. There. Oh shiz, that's a bit weird. Didn't work how I thought it was. Very nice and sharp dudes. Unlike me. Sorry, if it's a little bit big, I don't think it's a big Again, this is just my opinion. You might want to deplatform me for uh, misinformation. Uh, and I would understand. But those two are fine for those offsets. And I'm gonna, yeah, just cut a piece off this kind of thing of the offsets. I think we'll be able to get away with these ads for that. And here we go. Just picked it right up off there. Mm -hmm. 
I don't want to have like half of a pad on an offset. I don't know why. It's just my, my preference here. So a little bit off here just to close to make it clear. I'm not going to have like half a pad on and half a pad off. So it's going to clear that offset there. So next pad that's going to go on is going to um, oh man. Really want to be able to use these for the others as well. Don't think it's going to be that big of an issue, but you know what? There's that other piece there too. You know what? I'm going to try and use all the same pad on the same side just for consistency's sake, I guess. Not going to cut it off of this here because this here is the junk stick. Oh, wait, right. this one's fine. Beautiful. That's a little too. Um, yeah, we'll go here, there, and then we go. I used to be really scared of this sort of stuff. No. And I still am pretty nervous when you open up, like, you know, it's like a $2,000 card, right? It's understandable to be nervous. But um, it's quite fun. And I'm just going just gonna to actually quickly cut off a little bit. There's uh, some other uh, components here that are sticking up. And again, I don't want to cause uh, interference with anything. This is just my This is not, this is not real tech advice, trust me. Um, Down there, we go. Oh, gosh, there's one last one. It's not. And we'll just. Let's go here. And uh, yeah, smoosh that guy there. Now, there is another one right here. Yes, that guy there that we want to put this guy on. Sure, there we go. Good. So, pads are done on the front, and all it took was 300 years. Take a little drinky poop. Get us loose for the next step. All right. This is the most subjective step here. Um, let's see if we can get this button back into focus. There we go. Um, move this so we can sort of center it. We're going to look at some um, the uh, thermal paste application here. Now, what I like to do, um, especially with um, when you're doing block, one of the big uh, mistakes I made with my first one is uh, I had too thick of pads. So the thick pads ended up meaning I didn't have good coverage on the die. Or the, sorry, did I had too much space between the block and the die. And so I had parts of the die. I'm just like, literally, I, I load this, this stuff up right now. Let's see. All right, that's not. All right. Boom, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You're going to make fun of me, but I'm not that. Um, another funny thing about this is it has almost like a, uh, I'm going to spread it. And this is like the, um, essentially the, the, the part where people are like, oh my goodness, what are you doing? And it's always like that, right? Everybody's got their own paste, really. And I think we've sort of debunked the, uh, too much paste thing. 
quite yeah quite often people are like you know you want to make sure you put as little on there as possible and it's like uh not exactly but okay um but yeah this thing i actually use it like uh like tile grout because it has like sort of teeth on the end and so i can sort of spread it okay i want to get it on just basically every corner here and with this stuff if it's cold it will peel up you have to sort of you have to work it when it's uh, I only started doing it like this not too long ago, but finally, if you move it slowly, you don't pull up. With it. You know, I'm leaving a little streak there. I need to fix that. It's just looks cool, is it not? There you go. There's my sculpted, beautifully sculpted uh, thermal paste application. There's a buttload on there. But you kind of want that when you're doing the block just because, um, I don't know. Let's see. So judge me all you want. But that's how it's going to be. And come on, there we go, beautiful. All right, so that's the front done. Um, I see we pass an hour. Props to all of you who are actually still here and listening. Um, <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you, ASMR. It means a lot. I think you're the only one still here. So that means even more to me. Um, so let's see here. Uh, oh, pizza's here. Okay, good. Good stuff. Yeah, you don't have, like, again, it's check your hotspot temperatures. I think hotspot, as long as it's like 14 degrees uh, difference, that's that's sort of what I noticed stock. Stock wise, it's around 14 degrees across you know the die so your hot spot will be 14 degrees celsius hotter than you know your your next uh your average temperature so i think that's pretty common uh, so i wouldn't be too worried um if your hot spots are sort of um in uh in that range so now we do the old flip room here and we're gonna, we're gonna set this on there all right hopefully nothing falls off there we go. I believe we're, we're on. We are on. So now that it's on, uh, I open up these babies. So this up. So see. And we will dump some of this out. And then I'm going to pop some of these little washers. It's nice they have these like little retainers on them. From FE, on the FE cards. Little hair here. The old thermal pad. The old thermal pads have like fibers in them, which is kind of weird to me. Which, Move that out of here. All uh, right. Um, why is this? Thing? Okay, there. It's in there. It's in there. All right. This guy here. It's in here. I'm just putting these little. Uh, there's these little plastic washers. They're they're transparent, so you can't really see them at all. We can kind of see them, but yeah. I'm popping them in. This guy came off by the looks of this. Did that guy come off? 
Wait a minute to see, see if that guy's coming out somewhere. I did not notice that. Um, did it come off? Uh, it came off on this guy here. Yeah, there's these little... Um, let's see if we can get the focus here. In. Uh, focus. All right, yeah, here. You see these little plastic guys here? There's some of those on the thing. And you know what? I'm actually going to probably take them off. So come on, focus down here. Come on. Come on, boy. Oh, there you go. All right, I'm going to actually take these off. I think these are kind of... Kind of a, it's a, it's a, kind of glued on. Stuck on them. So, yeah, they are actually glued on. <laughs> these things are glued on. Um, so I am going to take it off. Um, I don't think there's any real value in having them on um, board. Actually, you know what? We could have them on. They're not, not, uh, you know what? No, we took it off. It's going to stay off. Commit. Commit to it. Stick it with my finger. I'll just leave that there. I'll leave the other ones on. Uh, no, I'm going to take them off. I don't want I don't want things on there that could potentially um lift the block off if anything. So I'm gonna take those off and we can put them back on if we ever want to put the form of cool back on. But yeah, I'm gonna take them off. That's my choice. You can probably keep them on if you want. It's not a big deal. But yeah. Technology is pretty loosey goosey with stuff like that. You know. Let's see here. We've got some little here. We'll arrange this here and bring it in. In here. Okay. There you go. Gonna go diagonal. Thank you, great uh, high school auto shop. Teaching me torque uh, torque patterns. I just wish I hate uh, Phillips drive. It's like the worst drive. I think anybody who's ever stripped out Phillips head will agree with me. Um, but yeah, I hate Phillips. I wish these were torques. If I was like to ever recommend anything for any sort of manufacturer who wants to do like a kit of any sort, it's just use torques. They're, they're the most wonderful heads of anything. Got still a piece of uh, from the old, 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 old. Yeah. yeah. Thankfully, tonight we're not doing the uh, the big uh, the big startup in that. We're just not going to fill it or anything like that. I'm just going to do the install and then we'll call it. Um, but okay, those are on, but they're not tightened. Wait, that other thing I was talking about. Um, let me just double check. Okay, yeah, we've got those there. That guy there. I'm just looking in here to see, you know, what's making contact and it's not. Uh huh. On top. Looking good. Looking good. That guy's not really making contact with it now, but hopefully it will once we're done. Um, so those are done, and now let me see this here. What's going through here? We've got um, got those there. I'm just seeing what screws are going through, um, and then deciding which other screws to use. So we have this. We have a hole for these two going through. We have a hole here, and then we have holes here and here. We do not have any holes up here or um, two, two, three. That's the only one. The rest, there's nothing. The rest, there is nothing. 
So we have one here that is going to be, um, yes, and we're going to use one of these. And I'm going to use one of these too, just to, so I don't think there's any, is this going here, to tighten this in here. Yes, we're going to fully tighten these down. Um, Thankfully, they give you a lot of extra screws. Do a little circular pattern there in the opposites. Okay. It's going to take a little look see here. Get some contact there. I don't have any contact out here, but I think that's going to hopefully change. One of the things I like to check too when I'm doing this um, is uh, for uh, focus. There we go. Um, I like to check for um, warping of the board itself. Um, just to make sure that you know you're not screwing something up. Uh, usually, I think if the board is warped, I find that's a that's an indicator that you're. So I don't think this guy's not really lined up very well. I'm gonna have to loosen this up a little bit, anyways. Now it lines up, but no, that guy doesn't line up, and neither does that. All right, we're gonna we're gonna split the difference here. Okay, so this guy here is these two. Okay, yeah, we've got some little pieces here that are gonna push down on this. Um, so that will, I think, apply some additional force on there. Um, uh, all right, let's see here. Will we be able to salvage the rest of these pads for here? Okay. Oh, well, thankfully we've got basically a dual width. Um, so that'll be perfect. We need to do one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll have enough. Perfect. We'll have enough of these guys. Um so. I will do it like that, and then I'll use the other pad maybe for the other stuff. So we go like this. I use my truck. So let's fade it. Move like this. Show you the sweet, sweet uh, pad cutting technique. So you can. I like to use like whenever I'm cutting as well, just to use like a um, some Why is this thing cut? It's a slight stir. Go, get some other pads ready to go here. So let's go over here. Make sure I have some split off so we can have it. And then, uh, yeah, make sure you remember to take this off. That's how we do this. There you go. Don't be like that. Oh, you gotta be like that, huh? There we go. So that. Um, we just go here. And we will then work. One, we go here. Split it up. Oh, 
onto the skirt here. Beautiful. And then we just have a couple pairs of these to go here. So now I'm just going to sort of try to keep this before. It's been a bit better. All right, a few more, two, three more. All right, two, go, two more. Ah, uh, kids these days. Have twice measured once, right? Is that how it goes? Here's what I like to do. Is after I put it, so I'm going to put this all together. And then the plan is I have a, a steel ruler that, ruler that I like to use. I'm just going to cut from the other side because I kind of screwed up my cut here. I'm talking about how this makes it so easy and I screwed it up. Well, I slip. go. Okay, now it's done here. Right, it is. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Oh, man. Why is that, why is that so big? Is that so big? Let's see. Let me see. Add it. Score here. I felt that touch the PCB. It scared me. Scared. Good. And what? thing is very dull is the there's a back piece for this somewhere. I've uh, nailed me for the last time. No you haven't failed me for the last time. <laughs> Piece of junk. Why? I know there's an easier way for this. People will laugh at me. So I can't do it. Oh, there you go. That's better. There are those guys away. Now we have a shirt knife at long last. Sharp enough to cut. Oh, like butter. Like butter. Like butter. All right, here we go. Score this guy here. Take it off. And then cut it. And then, and there we go. And that. So, let's see how this guy's going to fit in here quick. This guy is going to do like this. Right here. And, so bolting it. I'm going to take a little peek here and see what's going on. Now screw their cleaners. And there. Pull that down a bit more. 
put our memory stuff there. But some things go ahead. I don't know about that. Okay, let's see if we can sort that stuff out there. Let's see. Gotta get this uh, side piece on here. Which they don't really show. No, they do kind of show. Okay, we'll put that in there. All right. So we'll move this. There's that back play with all those things that were on there. I'm not really sure what we're going to do in regards to that. Let's see here. Okay. Let's see. Off. Slow. There you go. All right. So it stayed solid. Didn't put it. Ain't no sense. So we're going to put our plate here, one to here, I believe. Okay, now we've got a few things here going on. There. This plate was kind of bent when we got it, shipping damage and whatnot. So, let's see. This guy's already fast now, so I'm just going to see if I can a little bit of pressure. It's this one. Here. That's sort of where it's supposed to be. Okay, yeah. Um, hmm. 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 I think, I think, I think, I think. Where were those other things? There they are. So spare things here, and I was like, oh, what are these for? I think I might know what they're for. These little spare little spacers here. See where they go. I think they go under here. I'm not sure. The issue I'm having right now is I think I think I might need to have a little bit of a bit of a talk here with the piece of me here. We're a little bit, a little bit tight. Some areas. I'm gonna tighten it down. You know, what? I'm, I am gonna tighten. It down. We'll see what happens with the close to. Let's see, does this guy go on these? It does go on these. Let me just try to put on these. It does. Maybe it does not. Don't you do that to the back. Sounds good. This one. Okay. Let's do this like this, huh? Let's do this like this. We'll put this on here. Okay. There are um, these things here, which I was like, what are these? Okay, let's get this here. Oh, let's see. Pretty sure these guys are supposed to go. There's a couple of, let's put this here. There's a couple of threaded holes right here and here for the IO plate. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'm just going to try and get this threaded in there. Oops, you'd be a bigger uh, Phillips head there. Good stuff. Glad you guys have that consistency. Let's 
it in nicely. I believe that's what that's all about there. Let's thread this guy in nicely. Actually, what I'm going to do, actually, kind of loosen these guys because this I think is going to pull the. That I think is better. All right. This one will be a bit tighter. All right. I'm just going to go here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we're all right with that. I think we're right with that. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good. Good talk, Scott. Good talk. Focus here. All right. We try again. Hmm? This way. And then this here, and this here, and there, and this here, and this here. Okay, that's good. So here's our back foot screws, these long guys. I'm pretty sure it's these long guys for everything, but we, we'll see. We'll soon find out, right? Soon find out. So. Small now. If we bottom out, and then we just go to a smaller screw. It's not going to shoot. Yeah, that could be. It's definitely going to be. What? There we go. Disable the shear. This guy going to use a. Oh, this guy's going to use. There we go. Yeah, that's right through there. Beautiful. Then we go here, which I think this might be a bit of a this might be a short one. Yeah, it's a short one. So we'll use maybe one of these shorter ones and see see if that works. If not, then uh, oh yeah, that's good. Make sure it goes here. Yep. And we go over here. This one. And then we put this long one over here. This one a big one. This one a big one. This one. I'm trying to find well follow like a similar pattern that you do on like a valve cover. So you're supposed to do like a sort of a snaking pattern when you're doing like, you know, they go like this, this, and that. Is it proper? I don't. Is it? So the key is, put this all nice and tight. Nice and tight. Then, here we go. This looks nice, eh? Huh? The only thing, though, is that I don't like, I really don't like how this is kind of looking. I have some issue with it. But I'll explain these issues in a moment. Okay. So let's see. So issue. Um, that PCB looks a little bit warped to me. I don't know about you, uh, but it looks a little bit warped to me. Um, down here you can kind of maybe see a little better. Uh, that back plate, I use the use the back plate as like a reference because that's sort of a flatter piece. You've got about I don't know, tiny gap here, and then over here you've got. Uh, uh, very, very little, if any. So you do have a bit of a warp there, I think. Um, some of the warp has gone away. Uh, but you sort of want to look to, you want to make sure there's no light shining between uh, your, your key components there. Let's 
to open I guess. I'm going to go grab a flat edge and I'm just going to do a quick check of how flat this PCB is. Okay, okay. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't usually use this guy, but we can see here. Um, yeah, our TCB is a little bit, a little bit, a little bit warped here. Just, just a touch, not too much. Really. Um, even like, well, the back plate itself is a little bit warped as well. So that's probably part of it, but let's see here. But, uh, don't look at the bubbles. I'm not looking at the bubbles. I'm looking at the uh, the light in between. And see, so look here. You got almost nothing in between the edge of the PCB and this flat edge on the level. Uh, you've got you know a bit of a bigger one there, so. There is a bit of warpage. I don't think it's too bad, but I am a little bit, um, a little bit concerned um, with the memory of which. Let's see. Let's see if we can see the gap here. Well, let's see the gap there. It doesn't look like there's a little bit up top. Oops. See what you get from the, the memory modules here. But you know, we do want to be careful if not going to try to be sort of smushing properly. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should. Pop it or not? Check. We shall see. Um, I will do a check later on, maybe. Um, don't think it's too bad, though. To be honest, I don't think it's too. Bad. You do want to make sure you have nice contact, though, between your 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 components and, and whatnot, but. I do believe the offsets have decent contact on that side. This side, I don't. Do a quick, quick little peek again. Forgive me, my my single viewer. Forgive me. Gosh, an hour and a half. I'm still going. You know what? I think it is touching on the bit. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, we'll go to the next step. Why not? Why not? Huh? Okay, I'll put this one back up. Next step is the bridge. So, yeah, you're still here, ASMR. I know. <laughs> Everybody's left me. Pizza's gone. Cancer's gone. Everybody's gone. Nobody loves me. We're almost done. We're almost done. It's just this part now. Well, this is kind of a fun part. So you have your in here. Maybe. Let's clear. Let's clear some. Let's clear some junk here for the next step. Hey, eh? all right. Let's uh, let's put some of this stuff away. Clean workstation is a nice workstation. Am I right? Oh, pizza lights here. Good stuff. Good stuff. My thirty ninety bros. I still consider you my 3090 bro ASMR, even though you didn't didn't even open yours. I still do consider you my 3090. Um roll screws. I'm gonna put these guys away. 
like overall the kit's pretty nice. Um, I wish there was a, I don't know, is there any software out there that will tell you like offset temperatures or not really? I don't know if anybody out there knows anything about that. Um, let me know in the comments below. Sorry, I had to go all YouTube on you right there. Did I start talking like 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 one of those like annoying YouTubers? Um, guys, it's so cool to see you here tonight. Wow, we're gonna have so much fun doing this 3090. I can't even take myself. I I don't even understand like how people can do that in public. Like if you're if if that's how you are normally, like you know, all the power to you, and I'm not, you know, no judgment. But like if you're putting on that voice and you're doing it in public, I'm like, I feel bad for you, man. Sorry, we're getting to the gossipy part of the uh of the stream now where we uh talk about YouTubers and making fun of them and their their craziness. Here's another thing I like. Um, I'm always kind of nervous about with these uh, these double sided water blocks, and I'm going to get to that point uh, where where it is. Um, is if you're not squeezing it properly and it's not sort of properly put together, this and this is going to be out of whack. So usually what I'll do is um, I'll do this. Um, this guy's already sort of been tightened down. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to loosen it a bit um, because when you put this block on the top, this part, this top part, and the bottom or the the front and the back plate have to should be level, right? Um, and they should be level now, but you never know, like you know, variation in the manufacturing process, whatnot. So what I what I do is I will loosen these just a little bit. Just allow a little bit of wiggle room, and then I put this guy. So, for this part, this is kind of neat. It's like a machined out of a block of uh, acrylic. Maybe it's acrylic. If it's not, forgive me. Um, let's see. I don't like resting on its PCB. It's a PCIe piece, but we'll do it for now. Um, so, you're going to want your. In and out is uh, labeled on it. So you have out and in here. Oh. Hello, right here. Okay, um, you can see on here. Yeah, this will be fun I'm trying to get it to focus on the thing that's perfectly transparent. Um, but yeah, you can't really see it, but written on here is out and written on here is in. And you want an in to be aligned. On here, you'll have an in and an out. And over here, there's nothing on the back. Um, but so you have in and out here. So you want your in to align with your in on the front plate. Uh, and you'll see too when you put it on, like that the pathways line up. You also want to make sure that your O-rings are properly seated here. Um, I had an incidents where I put it on and it wasn't quite properly seated. I didn't put liquid in it, thankfully. Um, but yeah, it was, it was I was like, oh shit. So, so here we go. Um, so we got this part here. And one of the things I'm always nervous about with acrylic is over torquing. So we will be very careful. Um, and one of the ways that I can sort of get away from not over torquing it is I actually will not use this this way. I'll just use it this way and, and tighten it accordingly. So put this on. I do the middle ones first. They're um, Again, I just use that to sort of keep it in. You can sort of move it about the center a little bit if you need to to align these holes. Usually it's quite good. You don't really have to worry too much. So drop these in. They always include extra hardware, which I appreciate. Um, although these, you probably don't really need extra unless you're like really, really screwed it up. Come on. Also, too, it being transparent is nice because you can sort of see where the O-rings are as well. And 
you can sort of see them sealing around the uh, around the inlet, outlet ports, etc., um, which is comforting. So there we go. It's on. Yeah. Take the center ones. Center ones tightened. No, seriously? Seriously? There's so much wiggle in here. It's actually stripped. That's how bad something's hard to pick. Oh, Shiza, this is one of the this is one of the uh, the key guys here. Um, all right, well, you know what? Let's see. Do we have a? Well, this doesn't have any of those. Thankfully, I have a backup of it, so you can. What in? That's a great thing about hex ones. If it's a little bit off, which this one is, you can just get another one. This is like literally your bottom of the barrel kit from Amazon. Let's see, is this that a right size? Oh, that is definitely not the right size. Um, well, just a little bit too extreme. Maybe. Okay, that's better. Better quality right there. Now, will that fit this, or do I have to use the crappy screwdriver there? Yes. There we go. Okay. See, the, the issue wasn't the actual piece of hardware. The actual issue was the, the stupid hex piece that they have. So it's always good to have, uh, you know, the right right tools for the right job. All right. So thankfully we can tighten it down. Let's see. It's tight. It's nice it's tight. And you got to remember, too, like, you're not um, not trying to like torque it to the max, right? Um, you wanna you do want to torque it down nicely, but you're not you're not getting a seal from the actual like mounting pressure, so to speak. You're getting a seal from the the let's see, that's good. So this, you're getting the seal from the pressing the board, which doesn't take that much pressure. And and you're not going to want to like go too crazy. So to make sure it's nice and snug. I loosen these guys here so we can get a nice even uh, surface. Tighten these down. Oh. Back. Ooh. Here, let me take these down again. I think I'm just like the wrong, is that the wrong size one? Maybe it is. Oh, come on. You mean the wrong size, wrong size Phillips, the whole time. So for these guys, because those guys use a different one, these use a different one. Okay. okay. Uh, well, that's I mean, it's, it's convenient that they use all different heads. <laughs> guys, come on, man. Get your, get your act together, Vinsky. Switching out stuff to go around. Okay, that's tight. It's tight. Be nice to have a torque one. Uh, where you know you get a nice little click to give you that assurance you're torquing it to the appropriate amount. It's nothing more disturbing than stripping uh, a bolt or screw thread. Go and we've got it on top. So here you have your in, which goes in here. You can see these these two here. There's nothing bridging them. This actually has a, a, a passageway, right, bridging it. So here's your inlet, which goes into your block. And then it goes through, that comes up here, and then goes up here, and then out. So 
and then it can go, we're going to block these two right here, right? And 69 times. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Coco. You're here. Awesome. Suddenly, this got interesting. <laughs> and so here's your outlet right here. So in, out. So it goes in, flows through here, comes up here. You're going to want to block this so it's not shooting out. And then it crosses this passageway here. And then you're going to block this. Then it goes in down here and then comes up and then comes out here. So put these on. And uh, Zeziopaz, yeah, you see those? I didn't use them. I used the, uh, <laughs> I finished off my, uh, my, my Gelids. Um, and I just had this much left over. <laughs> So if you're wondering, uh, a Gilead pad uh, is good for, uh, and although I didn't actually look and cool these extra, these extra components here that have pads, I didn't cool them. Uh, maybe I should, but I don't know. There's no, uh, there's no, I don't think they would actually even like properly go there just because the, the thickness of these is, you know, it's, it's one and a half mil. You know, you can do them just like dang, it's in there. And it's not even, I don't even think it would crush on there. I don't know. What do you think, Coco? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who knows what their, what their, what their rating is. Do you think I should add, uh, I'm gonna ask. Uh, I'm gonna ask you, Coconuts, because I really don't know. I haven't done an FE card. So all these other parts here that have uh, uh, thermal pads on the back plate. When you did your uh, your block on your FE, did you do uh, pads on these guys as well, or did you just do the memory modules on the back plate? Also, just so you know, I have my my lime in there. I eagerly await your answer, Coco. Or fruit of palm. While I wait, I can put these guys on. These are actually not too bad. They're 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 pretty nice um, little pieces. Um, on the back plate, just did the mem. All right, good stuff. If that's what you did, that's what I'll do too. I trust you. Yeah, here we go. Everything possible? Really? I, I kind of didn't do any everything possible in the front plate just because I was uh, kind of concerned with uh, spacing too much off of the uh, off of the uh, the um, the GPU die. I did everything that they had uh, everything that there was an out outcropping for here. And on the front plate, actually, the, the there is a contact point on the front plate for everything that's on the stock guy. Here, I did this earlier in the in the screen. If you were here on time, and if you care, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I did uh, obviously the offsets and the memory modules, and then this little guy here on the front plate. And then there was actually an extra couple little outliers that uh, the big ski plate. Um, sort of gives a gives a contact point for, but yeah. Um, so there we go. We got it. We're we're all together. This is this is it right here. So you've got your little connector here, and you have your 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 block. Let's move some of these guys out of the way, and I'm gonna. Actually, just go the um, we'll, we'll put the original cooler here right next to it, and we'll see this piece of right here. So, here's our uh, the original cooler, and here's with the uh, the water block on it, it's uh, significantly smaller, and I think we've got like. I don't know. 
to tell you how much smaller, it's like, let's see, roughly like, I'd say it's, it's, it's roughly like half a spatula shorter. So, oh, uh, here you go. There, I'll put that there. Spot. So here you guys have it, right? We've got our block on there. Our gin with lime. Uh, the leather jacket actually does fit on. Her. Let's 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 check that out, right? That's actually very important. I'm actually going to return this block if it doesn't. I'm quite certain it does. Um, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Oh man, those coolers are so heavy. Actually, you know what? What? Should I go grab like I have a. I have a kitchen scale, but I don't I don't know if the kitchen scale goes up to the same uh, weight uh, as that. But oh yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's put this guy on and uh, call it a day. Let's see this here. Um, yeah. Oh, oh shoot! It doesn't oh man, we need one to. Different here, maybe. Ooh. It's actually interesting. It doesn't fit. How does it not fit? It fit on the it fit on the the FE cooler. How does it not fit on this? Am I just not just not doing it? What am I doing wrong? You know what? We'll fit it on like this. Why is it so big with the, uh, there we go. The leather jacket kind of fits. So why is the card so big with the cooler, but so small without it? Um, well, the big reason is heat. You can't have a small air cooler for a card that produces a lot of heat, unless you have a massive, um, like if you want to see, um, actually here, We'll put this here. I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab my... Uh, so we'll put this here. We'll put our FE cooler here. Um, and you know what? I'm going to just do it like this. So I'm going to take... Scale it. I'm going to actually just... I'm going to find a piece of plastic to put this on. Because I don't want to put thermal paste all over my... Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna flip this over. All right. So you can see the differences here. All right, we're gonna have this here. And I'm gonna go get uh I have a Supreme X uh cooler, which I'll bring and we'll put them all together. And we'll see which one is big, how how big they all are. I'll be right back. All right, so here's the Supreme X cooler. I have it in a plastic bag because, again, I don't like to let that stuff smoke on things. But yeah, your Supreme X cooler is about a little bit longer than the FE, maybe about an inch longer. Um, and you have thickness wise here. Oops. Thickness wise here, they're about. They're similar thickness, right? Yeah. 
ignore my head. My, my green hair. There we go. All right, let's get this guy focused. There we go. So you're looking at a little bit longer. Um, I think overall they're a bit, I was definitely thicker. And then you're, you're Effie with uh, with the, the block. It's quite quite a bit smaller. But that's sort of the the the, the nature of the beast with uh, with air is you want a big cooler, right? And the bigger your cooler is, you know, the more surface area you can have. That's what all these fins are all about. It's about surface area, right? Moving air over that surface area. And so that's the main, the main thing um, when it comes to a cooler. You know, you want that surface area to be getting uh, nice and... Uh, let's, let's get the changes came out of nowhere. Yeah, your surface area is sort of the key, one of the key uh, things when it comes to cooling your uh, your uh, card, right? And again, that's even why you have on your uh, on your card. There's these these uh, oh, what are they called? Not fins. Uh, yeah, kind of like fins, whatever. I'll call them fins. Uh, these fins here, you know, so you get that increased surface area for the water to flow over, and then it cools it. But like this is all one big piece of copper, right? And so it's going to be transmitting heat throughout, and then the water flowing over it is going to be picking up that heat and taking it away. Um, and that's just how it works, you know? So, yeah, it's pretty. Interesting. I really like sort of the, the coolers and stuff and discussing it and figuring things out with it. But yeah, that's pretty much the uh the the stream, I guess, for tonight. We've got it all together here. We'll put the the plug in it and uh you can see how it will sort of look in there. You know, it kind of looks kind of wonky with these. I'm gonna probably try and get uh like a it doesn't look too badly to come off the end here. Might be able to put that. And then these obviously you you know route them somewhere to get the sweet rainbows. But there you go, nice and small. Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll we'll be uh, having some nice low memory temperatures. Right now I've got my uh, the Supreme X has a similar block. It's quite a bit bigger though, just because the PCB is huge. Uh, that's the funny thing is the with the Supreme X you saw how big the cooler is. Oh yeah, it's all about the dot, the doge. It's all about the doge. Um, you saw the um, the Supreme X cooler. It's uh, it's uh, the PCB is actually like the full length of that cooler, so it's an absolute.